first scandal broke with Justin Wyckoff, we acted. And we approached the administration and said, we, what are you going to do to be aggressive about putting internal controls into place? And the first note is, those internal controls started prior to that scandal uh, when Sue West was uh, controller of the city and she put in a variety of internal controls to strengthen. Subsequent to that process, uh, we have seen additional internal controls, segregation of powers, additional oversight, put into place as well as a financial policies manual that is brought forward by the administration to the council. And these changes have strengthened our overall oversight of the city. Now there, there are a couple of things that I think that are possible that we need to do. And that the most important is putting into place rolling audits that are consistent throughout the year reviewing city budgets and individual budgets and focusing that because you have those internal audits that continue to go throughout the local government, those individual budgets, you have that consistent oversight. Um, we will also get additional guidance and we'll see exactly how strong those controls are when the State Board of Accounts releases its report and that report should be very soon. And we will see how our internal controls are living up to those expectations and then we can take further actions of how we do it. One other step that I'd love to be able to see us do, and it's something that I will stop and discuss with my council colleagues, put council also in a legislative, in a, put the legislation in place for oversight and working to develop its controls with local government. 